team is on its way to the playoffs, but another playoff berth for Bennett High and Buffalo isn't coming without some controversy. News Force Hope Winter is here with more. Hope. Jeff, Bennett High, Sco High School coaches, players, and parents say they feel Section 6 has waged an agenda against Bennett and have discriminated against the school in recent years. And this time around, Bennett's playoff seating is at stake. It's very disheartening when you work all year long, uh, you work in the classroom, you do what you have to for uh, paperwork and, and once again, clerical issues to be uh, taking ones away from you. The Bennett High School Tigers took on the field Saturday, trying to put their issues with Section 6 behind them. Last week, Bennett High was forced to forfeit six games because of an ineligible player. Transfer documents for that player from Sweet Home weren't filed correctly. We respect uh, the, the, the ruling of Section 6, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to contest it when we disagree. And, and we disagree as a, not just as a, a football program, but as the entire city of Buffalo. This isn't the first time Bennett and Section 6 have been at odds. Last year, Bennett was forced to play a playoff game against McQuaid Jesuit in Rochester, despite concerns of a COVID outbreak on that team. It does seem to be a pattern. I think this is where the discrimination and the civil rights concerns starts to factor in, where every single year it seems to be uh, a ruling or something that doesn't uh, go in the favor of Bennett. We've been asked to grow and develop our program, which we believe that we've done, and we're getting hit with more and more obstacles that don't even seem to be uh, football related. On the latest controversy, Section 6 ruled the player is eligible to play, but the team's record remains in question and whether those six wins will actually count. We're hoping to know early this week. Um, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that go into these uh, decisions and, and things okay. like that being played, making sure you have the right, um, right uh, uh, judges and things like that lined up who are going to see the case and making sure that we can get it on the docket in time that um, they can make a decision as quickly as possible. But the Buffalo School Board is not letting this go and have approved a motion to file a civil rights complaint against Section 6. Now, if the team receives their wins back, they would be first seed in the division. And if not, they would be from fourth. I did reach out to Section 6, and we have not heard back from them for a comment at this time. For now, in the studio, Hope Winter, News 4. Hope, oh, thank you for that. It's